allow anybody's expectations to change your decision of how to live your life i am a prime example of that y'all prime example of that i don't i move to the beat of my own drum i create my own reality and my own destiny y'all i do not let anybody break that for me Hey guys and happy vlogtober y'all I'm so proud of myself this is officially my fourth vlogtober video I'm Shanika hello everyone I'm Shanika if you guys are new here I do a series of lifestyle beauty waxing content um, so if you were interested in any of that type of content please go ahead and scroll down my timeline and check your girl out uh, this is my first year ever participating in Vlogtober and so far y'all I really like it I think it's like you know it's getting me more comfortable with editing it's getting me more comfortable with vlogging out in public you know cause like you, you guys are like small YouTubers you know like it, it's always that period of time where it's a little weird um, like vlogging in public um, I'm very comfortable with talking on camera now like that's not my issue it's just like vlogging in public y'all so I'm trying to like you know get more comfortable with that but other than that y'all I'm really enjoying vlogtober like I really am so today what we have on the agenda is we are going to be going to Walmart and we're going to be doing some fall shopping at Walmart I've been um on watching other people's like fall vlogs and seeing what they're doing a lot of people are doing this thing where they're going to Walmart and they're finding like really cute fall outfits and um I also need to go and find Halloween decorations because y'all know I'm having a Halloween party and y'all I just went to the store and it was empty like the store was empty like people are buying the Halloween Halloween decorations like early this year so I got yeah, so like what y'all can expect from me if you didn't see catch my other video what you guys can expect from me when it comes to vlogtober is you can expect vlogs possibly every other day you might get like you know everyday vlogs depending on like how busy my week is and how much content i was able to record but in general it's probably going to just be every other day because y'all know i do still work full time but um i do still have three days off but i do work um and so i have another i have a job <laughs> youtube is not giving me any money this is not any type of you know i'm not benefiting really from it right now this is just the type of thing where you put in the work now and you read the benefits later so i'm really taking it serious this year y'all so like i said if you didn't watch my last vlog i'm here to tell you if you are a small youtuber like me participate in vlog October and participate in vlogmas y'all it really does help you might not see a big jump in your subscribers because for some reason people really don't be subscribing like that y'all and if you've made it this far y'all please and you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe y'all i'm trying to hit a goal by the end of the year i'm actually trying to hit a goal by vlogtober i mean by vlogmas so but at the end of this vlogtober i want to have gotten a certain amount of subscribers so that's why i'm putting in this work but um like i said if you are a small youtuber and you are not participating in vlogmas and vlogtober you're really selling yourself short because these are the type of videos that people want to see so even if you don't hit your subscriber count you're going to hit your watch time and we all know that in order to get to a certain you know to get monetized pretty much with youtube you have to have a certain amount of watch time hours I think watch time hours honestly is going to be a little bit harder than getting subscribers because people actually have to be interested in you to watch your videos for a long period of time you know what I mean so if you take advantage of things like vlogtober and vlogmas you know that people are already interested if they hit on a hashtag and they click it on your video so that's what I recommend yeah everybody is so happy vlogtober I will see y'all when I get into Walmart like aisles are pretty empty um yeah i'm not really having any luck y'all so that means today i need to really try to go halloween shopping because if not i really don't think i'm having much luck 
luckily I do still have a lot of stuff from this year, but look how empty y'all. Look how empty these aisles are. It's like kind of crazy. It's actually kind of wild. <laughs> and they already have freaking um, Christmas stuff. They got Christmas stuff up. <laughs> freaking Christmas stuff up already. <gasps> no, this, I'm not about to get stressed out about this. I'm not going to get stressed out. If I can get some of these happy Halloween things. I'm only a dollar, I'm get two. These are like little shot syringes. Maybe I should get a few of these. Eight. These are three dollars a piece though. I don't know y'all. I'm kinda bummed out that we don't that they are like pretty much out of everything. I'll be back. <laughs> I gotta look around. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. So, <laughs> here's the Christmas stuff. Oh, this is cute, though, y'all. I mean, I really like this. This is really cute. Wow, these are so cute. How much are these? I don't know how much they really. Are well, they only 40? Those are cute, but like, come on, like, so we get past Halloween and Thanksgiving before y'all start putting up the Christmas stuff. Crazy. Oh, yeah, I just wanted to show y'all that. Check it that I got y'all. It's so cute. I love this jacket. It's like the um, wool type of jacket, and like, I would definitely wear like one of these tank tops under it with some jeans this is a great quality jacket i got this one from walmart this color and like i said i was doing with the jeans one of the tank tops i'll definitely wear my sneakers with this so i'll probably put um to like this green tank top and these sneakers with some jeans and a real cute like plaid bag or play hair or something just to bring the sneakers out y'all um yeah so i really love these shakes and i love these like i said if you guys don't get anything from this haul definitely get you some of these shirts and get y'all some of these jackets y'all these jackets and stuff like i said y'all i'm not going to change my shirt but the green jacket twenty dollars I love this shit. Bye below. Y'all, this shirt is so cute. I thought this t-shirt was so cute. And like I told y'all, I love Five Below for like their like um, graphic tees and stuff. So this shirt says bonfires, apple picking, leaves, hay rides. It's just giving all vibes these teddy shirts these teddy tees so i got this from five below this is only five dollars it's so warm y'all and y'all already know what y'all can do with this me personally i'll probably either wear this with some jeans or some leggings y'all know i would definitely put my uggs on with this because this is definitely giving ugg color with a cute little bag now spooky season is upon us and if you guys um, have been tuning in, and that means that you already know that I am having a Halloween party, y'all. And so I just thought this was so cute, like to do like one of my Halloween hauls, cause y'all know I'm gonna do some Halloween hauls and catch y'all up on all the Halloween stuff that I've worn. So if you guys are interested in like, Halloween type of content, make sure y'all stay tuned to our blog in October so y'all can catch my Halloween haul content. Um, but yeah, so I was like, it's only fitting that I get me like a little like top. This was $5 from $5 with the skeletons on it. And then it also comes with these bottoms. 
So, yo, I'm not gonna try to find one, but it's just like a mansion, like small set, five dollars. All of those who watch me for like the wigs and content and want to know like how uh, how it, how it is doing men, um, yeah. Here's a little update. <laughs> uh, it's it's cool. I just did two two men today at the center that I'm at. It really wasn't that different from wigs and a woman because, um. I mean, once you can wax, you can wax. And I thought, honestly, I thought I was going to be freaked out. I thought it was going to be weird for me. But it really wasn't. Like, it wasn't weird. You know, the, the men weren't really creeps. You know, most of the men who were coming to get waxed, they were just like, you know, they just wanted to really get waxed. So they actually wanted to enjoy the experience or not even enjoy the experience, but they wanted to see what it was going to be like. And they were interested in being waxed. So I guess, like... You know what we think in our heads and it's like oh where's one men is like we think that you know the men are going to be creeps and it's going to be uncomfortable and honestly because i've been doing waxing for a really long time for me it wasn't weird it wasn't uncomfortable you know it was easy the men were like like i said really relaxed um they don't even really flinch as much as the women like i thought that the men were going to be like a lot more like flinchy but like when you tell them to like assume the position they stay like you say you know do this lay your legs like this lay your legs like that they pretty much stayed like they weren't they weren't giving me any real issues so as far as my boys like i'm so glad that i took like the leap of faith and you know went against any uncomfortable feelings that i thought i was going to have and just you know did it because i believe in myself as a professional and i know that you know in any environment i can control the room i control my situation i am in a safe space i'm with you know in a situation where if i'm feeling uncomfortable i'm gonna tell this you know person to get up just like i would do a woman so it's not it i feel really comfortable now that i've done a few of them and i've been able to just be myself because here's the thing like my professionalism doesn't turn off just because it's a man like I'm still professional I actually make it a thing to be a little bit more professional with men so they know like this is not a line that you can cross you can't cross this line with me um but still I try to definitely remain friendly because like I said men get nervous too so um I would say if anything like if anything was like like hard or if anything made me nervous it would, would just like be that the fact that um i have to learn i have to kind of multitask you know make sure that i'm not being too friendly you know where i'm blurring lines and a man thinks that because it's not only like gay men that come like gay straight whatever you know i don't know anyone's sexual preference or orientation i just know the one guy he was like yeah i'm on the phone with my girlfriend he actually has girlfriend on facetime which was fine you know they actually made me feel a lot come more comfortable too because it was like you know he has a girlfriend in, in there and it was just like strictly him getting a service and i just you know we both i feel like we both were more comfortable with doing it um but the only thing about this um service is they don't offer it at the center that i was at so if those men that i did today if they wanted to get their service again they would have to follow me to my um, location which is about 30 minutes from this location so that's the only downside to it it's like if i want to build my my um book with you know have more men or have not more men but you know have the equal amount of men that i that i do women i'm going to have to like tell the men that i do here because for some reason in this area men more men come like to come to this center um i would just have to tell them that they would they're just going to have the book for me at my center yeah but other than that y'all i'm i'm totally comfortable with this i feel like you know it's a great money making opportunity and like i told y'all before i'm at the point in my life i'm trying to get this money so i'm trying to get this money and i'm trying to do you know whatever works but I'm going to talk to y'all later. We actually have to go to the mall today, y'all, because we have another wedding to go to. We got we have another wedding to go to on Saturday. It's wedding season. Um, I'm so excited. I like weddings, y'all. So I got to go find me a dress because the dress, um, the style is formal. It's a formal wedding. So um, I have a dress, but I have dresses, but they're not formal. So I have to go try to find me a formal dress for this wedding. Okay, 
y'all so we are looking for a formal dress for the wedding on Saturday um, I didn't think I was gonna have any luck in Marshall but I have 10 different dresses that I'm gonna try on so wish me luck <laughs> Alright, so I you just to I say. got the dress from Marshalls, got the shoes from DSW. You know, I need to find a clutch. I love your house. <laughs> wow. <laughs> So not in my bag like how she got my bag, but y'all, it's time for me to start decorating because I'm riding around and these houses are like, it's putting me in a spirit. It's like, <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited for Halloween. We got lots of stuff. Hey y'all, so um, happy Friday. Today is Friday. This vlog's over. This vlog is going to be a few different vlogs in one because I was vlogging yesterday, but I kind of fell asleep. Um, and then now today is a new day. Um, I'm going to end the vlog here, but before I end the vlog, y'all, I just wanted to tell y'all um, about how excited I am about my new work schedule because people always ask me, like literally I even had a girl this week like comment on one of my videos like she was like girl why are you working for um a company you do 30 you can do 30 Brazilians a day if you do 30 Brazilians a day every day for yourself you could be making this that and the third blah, blah, blah. like she pretty much broke it down and told me all the money that I could make if I was working on my own and then my response to her was you know well of course I've always considered that but I'm more happy with my work life balance um working for a company y'all like i just that's just how i how i think you know i'm more concerned with me being able to have a family you know uh pour into my relationships outside of work um pour into myself self-care have time for myself enjoy my life like my life is not work and if i was to be waxing 30 people a day on my own I would not have a lot of time for that. And so I'm not the kind of person who chases the money. I don't chase money. Of course, I, money is a tool. I need it. And trust me, I like to make that money. I like to make as much money as I can, but not with risking my mental health, my personal um, goals in life and things like that. Because I have other goals. I have other things that I want to do besides be a waxer. Y'all, I've been working with my hands since I was 18 years old. 18 years old I've been working with my hands and so that's not gonna last forever and so I want to start now you know start trying to transition into other things so that I don't have to work as hard for the money and so um but yeah I say all that to say I, my schedule is gonna be changing now um if you watched any of my other videos then you guys already know I only work four days a week um but now I'm down to three I'm only working three days a week now so y'all now I may have four days off and I'm so excited about that and I'm just gonna be working three doubles a week now which is honestly it's not hard for me because I was kind of doing like busting doubles like in the summer so I kind of got a taste of it like remember when I was telling y'all I was like picking up hours picking up shits da, da, da. I was kind of doing it and I was like I really wasn't that tired and y'all I was making a lot more money I was like tripling my money um and so I was talking to one of um she's like over me um she's not a waxer anymore but she used to be a waxer she waxed for the company for like eight years and then she moved up in a position so I think now she I believe she's like our director or something like that y'all I don't know what her um position is specifically but she, I was talking to her and she was like listen I just want y'all to be able to work and make the most money that you can without having to be in the center as much she was like you know this is a job where you can be flexible and you can create your own reality and whatever you want 
And so as much as your people think that, oh, you work for a company, is is their rules, it's really not their rules. <laughs> like it's we are flexible. We can especially somebody like me who has been working with a company company for so long, they give you flexibility. So if I wanna work three days a week and keep a full time schedule, I can do that. I have that flexibility to do that. If I wanna work four days a week and keep a full time schedule. If I didn't want to work three doubles, I have the 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 opportunity to do that. So I say all that to say, y'all, uh, don't let nobody tell y'all what direction you should go in your life. If you know, you know, what you are doing is working for you and you are happy with doing it the way you doing it, y'all, just do, just do y'all. Don't allow anybody's expectations to change your decision of how to live your life. I'm a prime example of that, y'all, prime example of that. I don't, I move to the beat of my own drum. I create my own reality and my own destiny, y'all. I do not let anybody write that for me. And I've been that way since I was 16 years old. I'm 31 years old. And I'm very 100% happy with my career choice. I'm happy with the amount of money that I make. I'm happy with my life. Um, I'm not where I want to be. No. But I know that um, I'm getting there. And I feel that I'm getting there. And, y'all, this year is just going to be a year of positivity, love, happiness, growth, um, you know, it all started when I just decided to take control over my life and not allow anybody to have any type of control over my life. I did it. You could do it. I love y'all. Thank you so much, so much, so much. If you made it this far in this vlog, um, another vlog coming, y'all. We're going to keep these vlogs coming because y'all know I got the wedding tomorrow, so I'm definitely going to be vlogging that. Um, I got so much stuff planned for next week and just like the rest of October. So, Vlogtober is not, I might have slowed down just a little bit because I didn't post a vlog yesterday. Like I told y'all, I wasn't going to be posting vlogs every single day. I'm going to try to do it like every other day. Um, but yeah, happy Vlogtober and thank y'all so much for watching my channel. And please, if you are not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. I love y'all and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.